I'm Miss Frodo and welcome to my toy hoard. Today I'm taking a look back at some Beanie Babies. Um, these were a huge fad when I was growing up in the 90s and everybody thought, oh, they're going to be worth thousands of dollars someday and now you can find them for 50 cents at your local yard sale. <laughs> I got rid of more Beanie Babies than I want to think about right now, um, but I do have some that I have kept for sentimental reasons. Um, this first guy, his name is Sparky. He does not have a tag. He's one of the first Beanie Babies I got, and um, I cut his tag because back then you didn't keep the tag because there wasn't a point, but then all of a sudden it became a collectible thing to keep the tag. Um, so he's just a little Dalmatian. And he's the, the earlier sort of Beanie Baby that was the flat body. Um, these were nice because they were really easy to store and to stack. They could just stack on top of each other like that. Some of the, the other ones like this were a little harder to store. <laughs> so that's Sparky. Put him on the end of the line. We've got Red Rover. His name is just Rover, I think. Um, and I do have his tag, but it's like Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah, playground game. Yeah. Um... And they all have different dates of birth. His tag says, This dog is red and his name is Rover. If you call him, he is sure to come over. He barks and plays with all his might, but worry not, he won't bite. And he's just got his big little face. Next up, I want to guess Pugsley. Yes, Pugsley. <laughs> Pugsley is picky about what he will wear, never a spot, a stain, or a tear. Image is something of which he'll gloat until he noticed his wrinkled coat. Aww. He's got his little wrinkled face. It's kind of hard to see because he's got the black eyes and the black nose on the black face. And he's got his little curly pug tail. And they all have their names on their tags and on the little tags that are actually attached to them. Pugsley. This one must be Sparky's girlfriend. Her name is Dottie. The beanies all thought it was a big joke. While writing her tag, their ink pen broke. She got in the way and got all spotty, so now the beanies call her Dottie. Ha ha ha. So they're pretending that her ears are black and she's got the spots all over her because it's ink spilled on her. And she is pretty much exactly the same as Sparky. Um, they just have the different ear color. All right, next up, this is one of my favorites because I love wiener dogs. This is Weenie. <laughs> Weenie the dog is quite a sight, long of body and short of height. He perches himself high on a log and considers himself to be top dog. And from what I know of this breed of dog, they do have little Napoleon complexes. They do absolutely think that they're top dog. So he's got his little wiener dog body and his tiny little legs, tiny little tail. Yeah, he's sweet. And next up, this isn't really a dog, but it's a canine, so I thought I'd throw him in there. Um, this is definitely one of the newer-ish ones. It's not a new Beanie Baby by any means, but it's, it's not one of the the old ones from the 90s. Uh, his name is Slick and it says, I like to read detective books. I love when good guys catch the crooks. I enjoy word games and puzzles too, especially when I play with you. And his birthday looks to be in 2003, so that's new to me at least. <laughs> He's got this cool bushy tail and his fur is a slightly different texture from the others. It's a little bit like softer, like a like a baby blanket, I'd say. All right, there are my cute canines, my Thai beanie babies, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Hoard. Bye.